these willow herbs at the base of this wall uh, have survived the assault of weed killer and they've grown and flowered and um, as you can see um, some of them are pale in color and low and short and um, the flowers also are uh, pink at the edges of the petals and white in the middle indicating hybrid origin of these plants and um, they're the only plants that have actually survived, grown and flowered under these conditions where there's been a significant weed killer assault. And just to show you this plant a bit more closely, um, the flower there, you can see um, the very pink edges to the flowers, definitely indicating hybrid origin and survival of hybrids under these conditions of weed killer assault. A clear indication of hybridization in willow herbs is when the flowers are darker in pink coloration towards the tips of the petals than in the centre, leading to bicoloured flowers. This one is a small flowering one that has some characteristics of American willow herb and short fruited willow herb. And here's another flower on the same plant, again um, with the darker pink tips to the petals. These uh, very short and pale willow herbs with very pale and small flowers are obviously um, hybrids and they're hybrids I believe of hairy willow herb with possibly a, a shorter, paler flowered willow herb like an American willow herb, a broadleaf willow herb, or a hoary willow herb. It's obviously one with pale flowers, but it does still have this cruciate stigma. So, real strong evidence of a hybrid here. It has pale and small leaves. It grows against the bottom of a wall because it gets good moisture from the water running off the wall. So, willow herb hybrid. Here's an absolutely stunning plant of what I think must be hoary willow herb. The leaves are fairly hairy, but the plant's incredibly short, but producing abundant flowers, all of which are larger than they should be for this species. Possibly a hybrid, I don't know. Here's a very interesting willow herb, and it's the first one like this I have ever seen. And if you look, it's got leaves in triplicate instead of in pairs. See that particularly that one there. Three leaves and it goes all the way down the stem. Now this is probably a broadleaf willow herb but it has mutated considerably to have three leaves instead of two. So another willow herb with nodding very pale flowers. This might actually be a species that I've not located before. I think it could be a pale willow herb, though once again I'm not absolutely sure about this.